If you really wanted to, I am 100% certain that you could build an AI startup within the next 60 minutes. And the reason is, it is literally all out there that you need to know to get started. It is absolutely crazy what Vercel has done in the past couple of weeks or what contributors have done in particular. So for example, there's a guy at Vercel called Hassan. He has his own YouTube channel and um, he essentially does a lot of AI stuff. And then he built an app that lets you restore old photos into, you know, really good new photos. And that is open source. You can literally check out every detail of how that project is built. And there are so many different projects with best practices using AI also on Vercel. So you can literally dive into the source code, take a look at all the projects available. And the interesting thing is most of these services or website that you can deploy as examples and check out the source code rely on a service or website called Replicate that is essentially aggregating a lot of different services and it is absolutely crazy what is on there, right? There is an API that lets you change text to Pokemon. There's an API that lets you have an image and then you paint that image continually using text input, kind of like ChatGPT on steroids just for um, generating images. There's an API that tells you how good of a quality an image is. There's an API that converts voice to text. And then there's AIs that can convert text to entire blog articles and that's why there are even some some startups that you know take in a YouTube video convert that to text using replicate or open a whisper that you can access through replicate and then turn that into a blog article which is absolutely unheard of if you go back like two or three years right it's absolutely crazy and with Vercel uh, templates you have the possibility to explore all the source code that you need if you're interested in building an actual AI startup. Now, sure, there is a debate here to be had about vendor login using Vercel templates, right? They make it so easy that it's very, very tempting to just stay using Vercel, and most people do. I myself pretty much only host in Vercel, um, and that's totally fine. However, you need to keep in mind if you're worried about vendor login, especially with Vercel, you could just take the source code make some changes to it because sometimes it is kind of Vercel specific, especially in the edge functions case. And then, you know, make some adjustments and deploy it to AWS, for example, which will probably be cheaper if you scale this to a lot of users. And I think one of the best things about these templates is that you can really get a grasp on how to write good code for your projects and how to scale them well, right? Because in most of these projects, there are some really interesting best practices implemented. Take this project, for example, that allows you to put in a Twitter bio and then kind of refactor in coding language or, you know, rewrite, re paraphrase, I guess, that section into a different tone of voice using GPT-3. Instead of taking the prompt, sending that over to OpenAI, taking a couple seconds to internally process that and then send it back to the user and display it, Instead, what you can do is actually create a stream. So you kind of like ChatGPT, if you've ever used that, right? It doesn't internally think like 10 seconds and then give you the whole response. But instead what ChatGPT does, it gives you word by word. And that makes for a really good user experience that you can also implement in your own AI app. We can do that using an NPM package called Event Source Parser essentially creating a live read stream to OpenAI and back. And we can also use the OpenAI integration without even installing an NPM package for it. We can literally just make a fetch request to their API and the authorization header pass or token, and then get back the answer without using any additional NPM packages. And I really think there is so much potential for AI apps. Now, I know some people are also annoyed by the whole AI topic, and I totally understand. Personally, I'm very enthusiastic about AI and the possibilities it gives us also as developers, but I totally understand anyone who is also kind of, you know, annoyed by the whole AI shtick. Um, because yes, in some instances, it can really be annoying. It's not, it's not very smart in some cases, but I think AI as a whole bears so much potential for great stuff that you can build easily and, you know, get like 500 or a thousand users just as a kind of side project because you can learn from these guys who did it because it's open source. Everything is out there that you need to know. And if you have a good idea, that's what it's about, right? It's not about the best code or anything. It's just about having a cool idea, finding a model that works for that idea, building a little app deployed to Vercel. And before you know it, the app might have like 500 or a thousand users. It's entirely possible. And why not try, right? You can just try. If it doesn't work, 
well, you still got the experience from developing the app and you could put it on your portfolio as well, right? Even if it doesn't work, if it's a cool project, you can just put it on your portfolio so you don't lose in any case, right? If the project fails, you win. If the project goes well, you really win, like you do a big win. It's kind of a win-win, just try it out. This video is not sponsored, I'm just generally really amazed by all this technology that is available to us as developers, open source, we can just look into it whenever we want and implement the code we like ourselves, and I think it's a great thing. That was all I wanted to share. If you really want, put the timer at 60 minutes right now, get it started, go out, build a cool project, and then in 60 minutes, see where you are, and I bet you are um, way further than you were when you started watching the video, if you're taking action, or if you don't want, that's totally fine as well. Um, but if you do build something cool, let me know. All right, that's all I want to share. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.